Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. So I've been making some gift card holders, money holders, not gift card holders. And um, I thought I'd jump in and show you how easy it is, but my mom needed six. So these are, I just put the two from here and I'll give you some ideas for variations. This one, this one. I kept it really simple this year. I've done belly bands, I've done different things, but this is the way I decided to go. And here's a green one. This is a um this is a Joann's, I think. And the other one was Michael's paper pads. All right, so she needed six and two girls, which I feel like is this and this one, and then the rest are boys, and they're grown. So they don't have to be kitty paper. And I just want to show you, money in this fits in very easily. So the measurements are super good for sticking money in. Sometimes I've done followed peoples and it's just such a tight fit that it's not a good thing. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make it. And I'm going to give you the measurements um, and I'll put them down in the description box. I'm going to say the measurements and then I'll put them in the description box. So you start out with a seven and a half by seven and a half piece of paper, uh, cardstock. You could use pattern paper, whatever you, whatever you want. Um, but I started out seven and a half, seven and a half, which is nice because it's not directional. All right, and then I'm going to I'm going to score at three inches and six and an eighth, which this up and um, I don't know if I'm right on so three inches six and an eighth if you have the kind of scoreboard it's okay three inches and six and an eighth however you need to do it then you turn it and do a half an inch and a half an inch on both sides all right and that's all the scoring you need to do super easy I'm gonna put that away and then I'm going to fold everything. Or fold and use my bone folder to get a really good um, score line. And I find that it makes it easier like this. All right, so the small part's the top, the big part's the bottom. So it's gonna fold up basically like this. So we need to cut something. What we're cutting is this top piece and this piece off on both sides. Don't need that. So I'm going to do that. And then I wanna come in at a little angle. You can go back and do this at the bottom one, or if you just wanna do it all at once, you can do it all at once. Let me just stand up and make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not, off, I'm not out of frame. All right, so that's the one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I don't wanna confuse you, I did turn it around, but it's easier for me to cut that way. <laughs> if you can hear the cat in the background, it's Oliver not coming in my craft room because everybody's trying to eat silk flowers and he's mad right now. But I'll get glad again. So this is what we end up with. All right, I cut off this piece, this piece. I have a little bit of an angle here, and I'm going to put a little bit of an angle on this one. <laughs> He's mad. You probably can't hear him. I can. Um, all right, so you can decorate the front first, or you can do how I do. You can glue. You can use... Um, score tape you can use a tape runner i'm just using a tape runner because nothing is touching that part um, but you can use glue you can use whatever you want some people don't like to use um tape runner and all because things get stuck but nothing's touching this because what's going to happen is that's going to fold up this is such an easy way i've done different ones like i said but this is so easy now i am going to round these two corners you don't have to if you don't have a corner rounder or um, 
you know, my hate for this corner rounder has grown again through this project. I just, I just don't get along well with it. <laughs> Everybody's like, turn it over. Look at what you're, okay. No, I don't want to do that. I want it to work. <laughs> Actually, I haven't had this much problem with it. All right, good enough. Good enough. These probably get thrown out anyway, so I'm not too, going too crazy about it. So that's what I end up with. You don't have to round your corners at all. All right, so then you need two pieces of designer series paper. Can't believe I said that. That's an old stamping up term. A piece, two pieces of pattern paper. So they're both going to be six and a quarter. So if it's directional, it's going to be six and a quarter. And then I need one at two and three fourths, which is the bigger one. And one at one and three sixteen. Again, I will put these directions, uh, these cuts and all in the description box for you. So I'm going to, that's going to go down the bottom and I'm going to put that on first. Again, you can glue. going to use a tape runner because it's quick and easy for me now and some of them I really lined up see that goes with that um so I'm going others I didn't it didn't it depended on the pattern and this doesn't matter but I'll show you one that it kind of did matter um, if I can find what I did with them <laughs> the only one that it really kind of mattered was this one because if you notice the diagonals match because this piece is actually an extension of that piece but that was a little trickier I would stick with something that maybe it doesn't matter if you're brand new if you're not it's all good so what did I say this actually is like this yeah but it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna round these corners down here again you don't have to round anything but since i did on the card stock i'm rounding on the pattern paper All right. now some things for two from uh, i hadn't it's because i'm sitting at a weird angle so you can see Great. That looks good. Good enough. Um, so I have put like two from in here. I've handwritten it. I've used a stamp. I've put a little triangle, a little label or something. That's an idea. Um, you can cut out pa pattern paper and decorate the back. I'm not. I'm keeping this simple this year. It's kind of my motto. But I actually have the stamp for the two from so I'm just going to use it and I'm keeping them all in the same place just again to simplify things. So they're going to be up in the corner. Now mine, I'll put them in a, well, for my son, I'll put it in a gift bag. For, but for the other kids that I need them for, um, I'm not. All right. Now you can get like, say this matched or you had something, you know, you can use a die cut Sometimes there's things you can cut out of the paper pack. You can decorate any way you want, but I'm keeping consistent with all of these and I just cut out two little tags. You can punch circles, you can do whatever you want. This is just decoration and I'm just doing them all the same. So I have a little um, snowflake stamp and so you can do this vintage, you can do this any way you want, but I love vintage, but I don't know that the people I'm giving these gift cards to would like it. I mean, these, these kids are anywhere from almost 18 to probably about 36, 37. So nieces and nephews and things like that for the ones I didn't buy a gift for. So I cut out a tag that's a little bit bigger and then one and from the same paper collection, but kind of that goes with this. All right, and that's gonna be the decoration on the top. I stamped some snowflakes 
and I used Baker's Twine for this. Now, here's another thing. Just ideas, I'm throwing them out there. Whatever ribbon or um, twine or whatever you're using, you can make this big enough to wrap around and then tie a bow here. Um, maybe I'll do that with this one. Let's see how that works. <laughs> Probably doesn't work at all. I should just stick with what I'm doing and not get into these other crazy ideas here. And just keep them all consistent. But could I do that? Absolutely. Tie a bow, and there you go. All right, so that works. But I'm going to just stick with, like I said, I just want them all completely consistent and easy. This is the year of keeping things simple. And then I'm going to put the twine on here. It's a little too long. I like it a little shorter. All right. And then this is just decoration to me. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape runner here and stick it here. So <laughs> how's it going to stay closed? Well, I have Velcro for mine, little dots, and I'm going to use them. For my mom, I'm keeping them open, the ones I give her to, to fill, because I just feel like Velcro, she may end up not having worked it with it with these. She may end up ripping them. So I'm not even going to use Velcro with hers. I'm going to give her, this is just another idea, um, a strip of blue dots. Where are they? They're in here somewhere. Oh, here they are my adhesive drawer so i have the strip of glue dots and i'm going to give her she wants six cards i'm going to give her like seven so then she can just pull a little glue dot off after she puts the money in and do this and close it and it's a temporary closure Ooh, i need to order some of them it's a temporary closure you know for the person receiving it if she doesn't mind it open like that it's fine um i might even have long envelopes honestly so a lot of different things you can do, you know, just do ribbon around them, whatever. But I didn't want to get into the belly bands this year. This was a lot easier. So if you have any questions, let me know in the, um, under, you know, in the comment sections, questions, comments. I always love it. And, um, thumbs up deeply appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. All right. Have a great day, everyone.